Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Saturday's chess show. My name is Sasha Starr. I'm an entrepreneur, musician, investor, and uh, now host of the chess show. Today we have very, very special guest. I'm very, very proud to have today uh, seven times U.S. Ladies Champion, Grandmaster Irina Krush. She is a fantastic player, great personality. And uh, before we'll start a program with her, I was thinking to do a special tribute to Irina. What I'm going to do now, I will have a musical number because we spoke lately a lot about uh, chess as an art, chess connection with uh, music and uh, other arts. And uh, I'd like to play a piece of music by late Unfortunately, Charles Aznavour, I've never missed his concert and performance with my wife in Toronto. Um, and uh, this song is very special because, first of all, the name of the song is She. There is no song He, only She. And the special, special the song makes one thing. He wrote all his songs in French, and a lot of them were translated into English. This is the only one song that he actually composed and wrote lyrics in English. Now, I'm uh, not a singer, but I made a piano uh, rendition of the song, and this is for Irina Krush. Okay, now let me introduce this. I made a special uh, version of the song, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Irina, this is for you, and I hope you enjoy this. And now uh, we would like to invite you, and Jim will help us, to have an uh, interview with you about your life, your chess, um, about the last uh, couple of months, what's happened. We all know about that. We were watching uh, every your move, every your letter on Facebook, everything. So we know a lot. But we would like to hear, obviously, from you everything. Okay. So please be our guest. Thank you, Safa. Also, thank you for playing. It was very beautiful. Thank you so know. much. I Same. didn't know you were a, you were a pianist. Um, 
Have you been playing? You know, um, I want to tell you something. When I started to meet Nava, and uh, we spent a lot of time in a desk uh, in the um, Palace of Chess for the like, Officers Club, and I was playing a lot of uh, cards with uh, your coach, Efim, Efimovich Kogan. And uh, we met her many times, and she didn't know that I'm a musician. She thought that I'm a professional card player, but then she found out. So you're actually from Odessa? Yes, I am. Wow. I didn't know that. I mean, it's an interesting connection, right? Because, you know, I, I was also born in Odessa. I know, I know. And yeah. I have uh, my closest friend in my class. Uh, I, I, I finished a special musical school by Stolarsky. His name was Michael Krosh. And I always thought that you have connection to him because um, we, we spent a lot of time together and enjoyed it. He was actually a pretty good chess player too. Probably around uh, master's level or so. Anyway, yeah. Irina, please, it's all yours. I'd okay. Like to <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't want to, you know, recap everything I already wrote about. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, yeah, I got, like, I, I caught the virus a couple of months ago, and um, it's been a process of recovery. Um, basically, once I got out of the acute stage for about a month and a half, um, I wasn't really getting much better. I mean, I still had um, the main symptoms that it left me with, like the chest pain, um, the difficulty breathing, like when I say chest pain, it was like, I mean, the feeling was that the chest had been run over, like completely, you know, and it was very exhausted from all the difficulty breathing. Um, and that run over feeling, uh, it's a very, un, you know, it's a very unhealthy feeling. Like, you know, something is wrong when your chest feels that way. And every time I would, I would press like many different points on my chest and there was pain everywhere, you know, like, like under sort of under the, right under the chest, going up like all the way almost to my collarbones. Um, so that, that's the kind of pain I'm talking about. I mean, it was not like unbearable, but it's like, it's something that lets you know that, um, you know, something is wrong with you. And that really wasn't getting better. Um, I mean, I would still have the difficulty breathing, the difficulty, especially when I was talking, you know, um, like sustained talking would make me out of breath and it would feel like, um, it would be, it was kind of miserable because it would not get better until I'd go to sleep and start a new day. You know, when I wake up the next day, you know, it was back to like normal. Um, and basically a couple of weeks ago, um, even a little bit less than that, but yeah, uh, right around the time the nation's cup was finishing, um, a friend of mine brought me this little concoction, um, called golden milk. And uh, you guys can find recipes for that online. I checked. I also even have a link. But basically, the main ingredient in there is turmeric. Mm -hmm. um, and turmeric, and so, so he, like, he cooked this up turmeric and peppercorns, and it's like this orangey little, uh, you know, liquid, um, the color of turmeric. And I drink it with, like, hot milk and honey. And within, oh. yeah, within two days of drinking it, my... <laughs> like it was incredible like the uh the amount of progress i i had um and the chest pain it just lifted that run over feeling i uh, disappeared i started to breathe easier within like two days you wow. know and um yeah it was it was it was dramatic i mean and you really feel it when you've been stuck with something for a very long time and of course, you know, you might ask, well, well what, what was I doing in that month and a half? And the answer is nothing because, you know, you don't get any recommendations for her to do anything. Like, of course, I went to the doctor several times to follow up. I, <clears throat> you know, I was diagnosed with like, she said, well, you have costochondritis, you know, inflammation of the chest wall. I mean, I, I knew that, you know, um, I even went there at some point. Uh, the last time I went to the city MD was during the Nations Cup. Um, you know, my, 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 pain, my pain got a little bit more acute. Like it was like when I would breathe, it would feel like something was like cutting me inside, you know, like, uh, like kind of ripping in my chest. And so I was like, well, that seems like a problem. You know, let's go, let's go talk about that. And she still said, you know, it was consistent with the symptoms of costochondritis and basically said, you know, you can take painkillers if you want. And that was it. Like, so there, no one ever offered like any concrete advice for, um you know for getting better and um so nothing i mean i tried a lot of different things of course you know i did mm, 
hot towels on my chest, um, like pla you know these like rubber water bottles that are hot. I think those things are soothing, and I'm sure they didn't hurt, you know. Um, but in terms of really getting to the core of what I was feeling, um, like I didn't have anything. I mean, I, I, I had ginger tea, you know, I ate garlic, like all kinds of things. But really, really, the 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 only thing that ever helped me um, and that I'm very sure about was this thing that I started drinking um, because it was such a big improvement. It happened so fast and um, and it was the only thing I changed. Wow. So, Remember you told me that you actually couldn't even sleep by lying in a bed. You had to sit for quite a while, right? Yeah, that was in the first few weeks. I mean, that was when you don't know which way it's going to develop for you. You don't know if you're going back to the hospital or if you're going to get out on your own, you know? And yeah, I mean, it was hard enough to breathe that I couldn't really go to sleep lying down. And so I would sit up. I read, you know, that um, <clears throat> it's easier to breathe in like a prone position. And I definitely found that to be true. Um, even when I, uh, in the last few months, there's so many times when I would have to just like, you know, bend over to get my full breath, you know? So I can, can confirm that it's easier to breathe when, when in that position. Mm-hmm. Well, we were really, really worried about about you, and uh, not not only our little chess community here on IBM uh, TV, but many people, grandmasters, whoever I talk to, even uh, Alexis Shirov, he might appear here today to say hello to you. Uh, they were all worried about your well-being and how you are doing, and uh, it's great that it's all over now, and you can <laughs> you can do anything. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, it, and it's interesting. Well, I mean. Uh, in terms of it's all over, um, you know, in the last couple of days, there was a date that I skipped. The first time I skipped my milk treatment, um, really? I, just, I just forgot, like, yeah, like I had, you know, yeah, uh, anyway, I, I got, I didn't get a chance to take it. And um, basically for two days, I got off my schedule. <clears throat> I already had, I had it this morning, but I, I, I already felt it. Like I felt worse. Like I felt that same symptoms, the chest mm. pain coming back and it's actually maybe funny because just like just to, to see to show me the difference you know that it was like i was already sure it was helping me but when i stopped drinking it i f started feeling the same thing so in a way wow. that's even more more confirmation for me and how how useful it's uh you know i'm following this um uh, situation with coronavirus and uh, everybody is thinking that uh, people who went through it like yourself would develop some antibodies that would make you essentially immune for uh, for a new uh, outbreak of coronavirus. Is that, is that true? Is it a valid uh, theory? Well, I'm going to the doctor next week for a blood test, and I mm -hmm. will ask to be tested for antibodies. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I expect to find some antibodies, yeah. Okay, great. great. Yes, I would, I would also think that because the virus can mutate, that you may have an immunity to what you were sick with, but you may not be immune to the mutated next phase of this virus. Yeah, um, you don't know. But I, want, I want to second what Sasha said about how much the uh, chess community was pulling for you and how grateful we are that you come back to us. And uh, it, 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 I just want to narrow it down a little bit because this is such a, an important thing. I am very sorry that you went through this, but I'm so grateful that you can share with us that this golden milk has no. been the answer to you because our medical um, health system in America was not giving you the help that you needed. And this is, this is one of the problems we have with the healthcare system. If you don't fit into the square box yeah. that they have, uh, they just say, you're fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I have gone through this myself. I won't bore you with the details, but when they don't have the answer, they tell you you're okay, and you know you're not okay. Right. And they try sure. to make you think that you're crazy, but you know you're not crazy. You're actually feeling this. Yeah. And it's well, it's very uh, difficult issue because, as you know, in Canada we have universal uh, health care, and it's free for all, and so on. But I, I'm not sure if um, they would be very helpful, God forbid, to me or somebody, because there is no vaccine available, as we know, and all the treatments are 
you know, some people remember one thing. But Irina, tell me what you described, the drink, the drink. And I think it's very tasty. I think from ingredients, what you described, yeah. I think uh, I wouldn't mind to have one. In it's not a bad tasting drink. It's very, yeah. I mean, it's fine with that. Oh, also, you can, you can also add some coconut oil into it. Um, that's another mm. thing I added. But I know I was already feeling the better before I ever added the coconut oil. So I know that wasn't like, you know, a key. Right. Uh, do you it's, think it's, some... it's obviously the turmeric. It's like the turmeric mm -hmm. and the, the yes. hot you know? Yeah. Do you think if uh, to add to this a little bit of a cognac, would that drink become even better? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't it know. makes the medicine go down. But, um, Jim, yeah, it, it, uh, for what you're saying, I mean, I definitely, um, I agree. There, There is not like, I have at least, you know, obviously I followed all the news about the virus closely, right? I mean, um, and there were not there was nothing that was coming across that was like you know this is what to do to become better you know it was right. like if you were not in the acute stage if you were not you know air in in the in the hospital there was not a lot on offer for you and i actually called you know a city md doctor once i did like telemedicine and i asked this question i was like um because i was so concerned about the inflammation in my chest and i was like are, are there some juices i should have been drinking is there something I could have done to, to, you know, take some natural ingredients that could help fight inflammation? Because it wasn't just the respiratory stuff. It was just like, it was such intense inflammation over the whole chest. And, and he was like, and he told me, well, no, nothing would have helped us. But you see, I did have this sort of intuition that there must be something out there, right? Because like, there are things that fight inflammation. <laughs> Right. And um, but you weren't getting it from like, you know, the doctors and I'm sure these are very good doctors. This was like a, this was an emergency room doctor with 30 years of experience. And I'm sure like in that area, he, you know, he's he's got he's got the, the right experience. But, you know, there's like, there's other approaches. Right. And right. Um, and this one happened to work for me. And I am and I am kind of I do want to share it with the world. Like, I mean, that was the whole idea in me sharing my experience to begin with um, right. in March. And um and I hope that it can be useful for someone. It was just so effective for me. Um, and yes. yeah, people need to know that it's not just the problems breathing that this virus causes. The inflammation that your own body is going to give you is pretty intense. Yes. And it would be good to counteract that with something. Yes. And listen to your own body. Don't listen. To, uh, you listen to the doctors. They're obviously they're trained in professionals. But you must listen to your body because they can't uh, know it, how you feel. You must yeah. tell them how feel and they may not have all the answers and don't give up if you're sick and yeah. you know you're sick don't give up until you find what works for you yeah. and you did that and congratulations for doing that thank you jim i completely agree you know i think one thing is that i did try to be proactive you know i returned to the emergency room a couple of times after i was discharged from the hospital because you know i didn't want to um just die at home you know it was like they could it was fine i was i was ready to go there and be told to to go home um if they couldn't help me but i wanted to make you know my appearance there to let them know how i was doing and for anything like you know maybe get that extra x-ray see how my chest is um and i did that a few times and i never regretted it even though of course you know i didn't want to make those extra trips to the hospital i knew it wasn't like the best place to go right of course uh, and and just to follow up, I know you were born in Odessa, but obviously you don't live there now. Where do you live? I hail from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. So yeah. the New York City was an epicenter of this of this virus. And were you exposed by um, your, your environment, people you were coming into contact with? How, how do you think um, it, you were infected by it? Well, I lived my normal life, you know. Um, I had uh, returned from Cincinnati uh, on, you know, on an airplane a couple of weeks, like about 11 days before my symptoms began, 12 days. Um, I traveled on the subway daily. I had a few doctor's appointments. I saw kids. I went into schools. Um, so it's just my normal New York life. I mean, so of course it's, it, um, I mean, I can just tell you that when I, when I, when I got the news that I had this, um, like I already knew it was everywhere. You see, because I'm just a typical New Yorker. And I right. knew, like, if, and, and even though I was in the early batch of people, you know, who got it in, like, early March, well, first half of March, I would say, right. um, like, it just was clear that it was everywhere in New York, and then it just exploded, you know? Right. 
Mm-hmm. So I never stressed too much over where I got it because it was everywhere. No, no, you, yeah. can't, you can't, no. And that's one of the problems. And, you know, we're trying to, one of the, the things that we're trying to do is test more. And we're also trying to um, track uh, the contagion. And, you know, that has proven to be very difficult because people don't show symptoms until after they've met the person that may have infected them. And it's very difficult to do the back uh, analysis to uh, find out how did I get this. And, um, but it is essential information to know if we're ever going to solve this problem because we need to identify where this is a problem and, and identify individuals, identify communities and zero in so that we can shelter in place there more aggressively. And I just think that you're doing such a service to come and tell your story, which you went through and, and, and I will not um, put myself in your shoes and what you went through, but um, I can only imagine that it was difficult. And the, the going to the emergency rooms, going to see the doctors and then telling you, well, it's just this, it's consistent with this. And you know that it's something else and you fought on and you kept going and you found what worked for you and you deserve everyone's congratulations and sharing your story is the cherry on the Sunday. Thank you, Jim. That's, I just wanted to say really you, um, you, you know, you thanked me for sharing my story and I want to, you know, thank the uh, support of the chess community, which I definitely did feel um, um, when I made my first po- post on Facebook. I mean, I'm not really like, a Facebook poster, other than you know sharing like cat videos and nice little animals. Um, so, so for me, I I did post it not just you know not to just like let people know about how I'm doing, but what I thought this experience could be broadly you know useful. And I was I was surprised at the outpouring of support that I received. So many messages across like many pages, and um, it absolutely gave me um, strength to to go through it. You know, I wanted to make a post that was not like, oh, I'm dead. You know, <laughs> you know, it has to be a poor, different or kind poor of... me, poor me. Send me your pity. No. Yeah. No. No. Um, and and I, I will I will make another post um, soon where I like I let people know where they can see the recipe for for the golden milk. That is awesome. That that is a real service that you're providing, not just to the chess community, but to anybody that contacts anybody in the chess community. So it's a ripple. That yeah, it's a ripple effect, right? I mean, just so, it can reach so many people. I mean, I was like, you know, contacted by people. You know, you just like, you know, you don't normally um, keep in touch with them on a daily basis or a regular basis. And I just heard from so many people. And uh, yeah, their support meant a lot. Great. Mm-hmm. That's really great. Um, <laughs> by the way, Alexis Shirov just messaged me that he's trying to join us, but uh, he has difficulties to do, to go into stream yet. I will help him. No, not that's okay. okay. Uh, if you wouldn't mind if we will show uh, our listeners and watchers uh, a very short game, which uh, obviously everybody knows who, who knows at least how to move pieces. It's a so-called opera game where Paul Murphy uh, played against. Uh, uh, two well-known um, uh, Duke Carl and uh, Graf Iswart. Um, Jim, would you like to uh, show the game, or would you like me to show? Or how would you I like think I need you to show it uh, because I cannot share a screen. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me figure out that. Uh, share screen. I have to do my security updates. And Sasha probably ran into the same problems I have. You have to can't do Microsoft Explorer. You need Chrome. You can't do Safari on the Mac. You need Firefox. Oh, well, I see what's the problem. But I guess it's a common common problem, right? It's like narrow the narrow specialization. Yes, right? it's it's what prevents people from you know being able to tackle a problem from different angles. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad somehow I got I, I got a little right. lucky with that. Okay, yeah. may I ask you? Are you seeing the board? Yes, we are. And you see move if e, e, yes. e2, e4. Yes, we're following. Okay. That's great. That's great. Now, this is um, probably one of the most well-known games in chess. Uh, uh, last time we showed uh, another beauty. It's a Steinitz Bardeleben, which was brilliantly won by Steinitz. It's one of 
the historical games. And I was thinking about showing one of the Laskers game today, but I think it will be disservice if we will not show at least one Murphy game because Murphy at his time, he was uh, undisputed world champion. Uh, his game was, uh, I think something who said about him that he was born too early. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that. However, let's go to the game. Do, so, Sasha, do you know what we call him in America? We call what? him the pride and sorrow of chess. Plum well, you can say the same thing probably about Bobby Fischer, eh? Hey? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if, so I got to visit New Orleans once, and, um, and we went to the cemetery where, he, where he's buried. As did yeah. I. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so far we have a Philidor's uh, defense. So far, everything is going very smoothly. Now we have uh, d4. So, uh, uh, Irina, you probably know if you played Philidor defense, uh, you probably are wise to take on d4. Unless you want to play knight d7, which, which is a different ball game altogether, some, some yes. complexities uh, after that. However, um, black knight bishop g4, right? Yeah, it's not a good move. Yeah, it's, every, it's not a good move, and everybody criticized that move. But you know what I discovered preparing to this game? <laughs> that even Garvitz, who played much with Murphy, he lost it, of course, but Garvitz on his level of play, he was playing uh, several times bishop g4, believe it or not. But this well, is also at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe they didn't know how strong the bishop pair was. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. So obviously takes. Uh, obviously, you shouldn't take on e5 because queen will take queen. And uh, so first you do, you exchange bishop. And only then you take on e5. So um, now black has a better development and the two bishops basically for free. Was, uh, uh, so black played... Uh, Knight f6. But I think it's white's move. White's move, yes. Uh, so bishop c4. Right. So f7 is a duck. Knight f6. Okay. And now Murphy is going to do a very strong move in this position. Queen b3. So now it's a double attack. f7 and b7. Yes, we know oh. this, this technique very well. Uh, now, but I think probably at the time it was surprising how effective this move is. So, um, black played queen e7, and um, white can take on b7, but it allows black to play queen b4 to exchange queens, and uh, there will be probably 35 more moves. <laughs> that obviously didn't happen, right? I have to okay. say, I, I would take that pawn without thinking. I would just be like, <laughs> seven, yeah, I know, I know. If you play bleeds, <laughs> you immediately take the pawn. I mean, <laughs> but you know what Murphy did? Another move. He played knight c3. He's still playing for development. And actually, it, it is an uh, extremely strong move because uh, it's very unclear now. Black already behind in development. Uh, white has two bishops. Mm, it's very unclear. Maybe, maybe the position is already lost for all practical purposes. Maybe not. So what's next? Irina, do you like the material when it's offered? Do you take it? Well, if it's free like that, yeah. If it's that, <laughs> I don't. I don't see the compensation there for black. Well, black played uh, c6. It's very defensive move. It now protects d5 square, b5 square. Uh, but um, it doesn't change overall um, position. And uh, and Irene is telling herself, I wish I had taken that pawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, White continues to develop his pieces. Now, it's like one pawn. word in the hand, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my approach. <laughs> yeah. So after look Bishop all, G5... Look at all the white development and look at how sad Blacks is. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure now what Black should do in this position. Uh, either you resign right away, but uh, you're still in opera. There is nothing much to do. Uh, <laughs> so Black played uh, B5. What a move. That looks like it's asking for it to me. 
it's asking, yeah, and especially if uh, you are playing against Murphy, yeah. why would, wouldn't you expect move like knight b5? Hey. So uh, there is no other moves of take, white takes. I said A, say B. And uh, the show is uh, almost over. But the knights now, are pinned. They can't move. They're frozen. So now, they're developed, but pinned. Now everything is pinned. Black cannot finish its development. And uh, basically after very few ah. natural moves. Now look at this. What, what to do? What to run? Because you're threatening to take the knight on d7 because the knight on f6 can't retake it. At least, yeah. So probably rook d8 is the only move uh, right. trying to survive, but not for long. Uh, Murphy played here, rook d7, wow. sacrificing exchange. Now, I bet obviously, king and queen cannot take, knight cannot take, so that leaves only rook. And Murphy immediately brings the last piece into attack. Now, all his four pieces, queen, rook, and two bishops are in the attack. And what black has? Nothing but trouble. So what, what about black's inside development? It doesn't look sufficient to me. Well, black now play queen e6. is trying to bring bishop to e7 or so on. But, but uh, somebody like Murphy will never allow that to do. Now... Everybody knows what's happened next. What's happened next is very simple move, but it kills. Bishop takes rook. But but the knight can take it now. The queen moved away. Yeah, knight can <gasps> now take. And there so comes one of the uh, most well-known well checkmate in two moves. Also, You're it's, it's definitely queen check. A queen sacrifice is my favorite sacrifice. Yeah, this is one of the best known sacrifices. Of course, that's on the move. And finally, the remaining two pieces, checkmate black king. So white in final position, white has only rook and bishop. And black has a rook and bishop and queen and knight. But it doesn't help much, right? And look at all of white's pieces have moved at least once. And the black king, black bishop, and black rook have not moved at all. Well, they will pull, they will start moving in next game. Not yes, <laughs> this game is <laughs> is really over. Okay, so I'm glad that uh, you like that game and uh, this famous sacrifice. And um, now we would uh, definitely like uh, Irina to demonstrate her art of chess. She's a formidable player. Uh, I remember she was playing uh, blitz games uh, like like no one could could do it. Yes. And uh, uh, Irina, if you could uh, start the master challenge, and you have to share your screen. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say hello to Alexei. Yes, Sasha, we have a no new guest. Oh, oh bravo! Yes. Bravo, bravo, yeah, bravo! Yeah. It was a bit difficult for me to figure how it works, but okay. Oh, but you made it great. Great, great, great. No. You've overcome actually, bigger obstacles. I'm so glad that you finally here on the show and you can greet uh, Irina. She's done a formidable job Irina. getting out of this horrible coronavirus. So, and she's Irina, great. how are you? Oh, I'm getting better. It's still, you know, it doesn't really let go. You know, it's not like <clears throat> it's not like an like a normal illness where you're better in a few weeks and then you're just back to the state of health you had before. I mean, you're still like it's not like it was before, you know, it's like a process. Okay. But Irina, but, you, know, you were I really appreciate I mean, you look advice. okay. But, I mean, you look okay, but uh, yeah. Yeah. as far as I understand, you are you don't feel okay yet, yeah? Yeah, it's not it's not the surface. I always looked okay. It's more, you know, how I'm feeling inside the chest, how my breathing is, um, like that. But on the outside, I definitely look normal. I mean, I, I don't have a temperature or anything like that, so abnormal energy. I and, can walk around. And Irina has a very secret drink that she has every day. Uh, yeah. Irina, tell Alexia about the drink. About I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write on Facebook soon about my secret Good. drink. And then I'll share this the secret with everybody. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. But now it's still a secret. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just like to keep secrets, I know. Well, 
if you had been able to get on the on earlier, she would. She told us. Okay. <laughs> Tell us uh, all the ingredients. Sasha, do you want me to start some games on chess? Sure. Card? Yeah, you can start master challenge. Put six games. Okay. Three minutes, six games, probably. Three minutes. All right. I think that works. Well, Fire on Board is still one of the best oh, books I've ever and seen. And I'm supposed to share my screen, so how... Oh, share screen, I see that. Well, you go to StreamYard and uh, down there. Yeah, 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 I see it. So do, I guess that should work. Uh, application window, maybe this one, like that. Oh, this uh, is a little tricky. One second, my Chrome tab, maybe? Yes, so yes, you're one. right. Okay. You're absolutely right. This, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I see it. You see it? Good. Okay. So where are my opponents? I Okay. I uh, I'm trying to enter. Okay. Now, Master Challenge. Click here to play. I will definitely make... Okay. So I'm I'm on a waiting list. So wonderful. Oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm playing. Are you playing, Sasha? Well, yes, I'm playing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alexa Shira will be next. Nice. I don't think I put myself in any list, but <laughs> so it's unrated game, so it's okay. <laughs> it's unrated. Yeah. Okay. So. Sasha, you are white as far as I know. Oh, no, you are black. No, no. I'm yeah. black, yes. So, so I will see the moment when I should help you. Oh, no, it's maybe. I will play Bishop G4 to make it funnier, but okay. Oh, yes, <laughs> I know. Game. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like some That's unfortunate it. things in ah. this game. Oh, but you pre moved that, huh? <laughs> yes, we have that too, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Of course. Nobody will play today without uh, Primo. Except me, since I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> that's th that's Sasha's move, 98. Yes, uh, yes, I played it. <laughs> that's yeah, what he did. You know, you know, sometimes it wouldn't work, yeah. Okay, so. What to do? Okay, I'll play old-fashioned style. Yeah. But it's so strange to see King Sidian with only three minor pieces on each side. <laughs> right, right on <laughs> <the side. laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I think it's to a black's advantage because uh, black has less pieces to coordinate and because it has less space. So you are very to, to play. Well, black is uh, playing the King's Indian like he's supposed, he's supposed to. It's like keep penetrating on the king's side. That's your game, and all and right. So I'm queen? thinking about knight c7 here. I mean, that was the plan. <laughs> seven, knight takes bishop b6. Uh, I see. Rook f7, queen c2. I mean, it looks like I can try it, so I'm gonna try it because it's kind of thematic. Mm hmm. You actually did it. I thought that maybe you'll change your mind, but you don't. Well, maybe maybe it's a it's a mistake, but I don't I don't see yet. Why it's <laughs> I don't see it either. I don't. Yeah. I would defend like crazy, but um, it may not help. Yes, this is the problem. You can't get your other pieces in the game fast enough, and she's all developed. Yes, she is. Okay, I didn't accomplish that much with that trade. Um, so black is still black is still game. alive. Yeah, alive for sure. <laughs> Bishop, what is it doing? I mean, yes, this is a question. Yeah, yeah, it's a question. Uh, but it's okay. We can try. I think the queen is pretty good on b3. Yeah, it is. Yes, absolutely. So, so maybe rook c3, rook fc1, maybe my plan. It could be. Absolutely. I have to play active chess, and otherwise I will be just uh, finished. Hmm. Okay, h3, you want to do h5. Maybe I'll just take it. No, uh, there's something else. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't what about me. this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really bad. 
Oh <laughs> my God. Yeah, you're, that was uh, good stuff. So very nice. It. Oh, Green G7 was, was a killer. Done, dude, good, clean living. That's yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's not the I mean, end. There is, on. there is a strong okay. strategical compensation. So. That's not the yeah. end. Yeah, we got the oh, open dude. file. And one pawn. It's not too bad. Well, she said that bishop on c7 was doing nothing, so she just got rid of it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And we all know the rule. If white loses the game, she blundered. If she wins, she sacrificed. Yes. <laughs> yes, you got it. You know, I was watching uh, late uh, Michael Tal when he was playing Blitz games. And uh, he was sacrificing pieces like for nothing, absolutely. He was playing Rafik Vaganyan, and uh, Vaganyan attacked his piece. And I uh, guess this is getting interesting. Oh, yeah, Can we do that. Still not too interesting, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah for this move, I think it's gonna I be expect you to take C8. Yeah, yeah, I should have taken on C8. Yeah, yeah. Well, what am I doing? Mm. Oh, just a game. Come on. You've got, you've got some of your material back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the problem, the, the, you see, black has two bishops' advantage. And this is very, very... Oh, I see what's happening here. So I, what do don't, do? I don't know. Maybe, maybe she can do this. Yes, why not? Maybe she can do it. Sasha is not someone to be trifled with. He <laughs> you should have told me that before, Jim. <laughs> he acts like he you acts know, like a gentleman, and then he plays like a fiend. You know, to tell you the yeah. truth, I thought so myself before my game with Alexis Shearer two weeks ago. Ah, yes. <laughs> And after that, I started to have some doubts about the whole that, concept. Dasha shared that game with us, and it was fire on the board. <laughs> oh, it should be short on some here, I think, on it the was, server. It was an opening catastrophe. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm telling you what to do. <laughs> oh, G3. I'm thinking G3 or something. I don't know. Do you have some no. other idea? I had Rick C2 in mind. Yeah, oh. Queen G5. I mean, mm. uh, yes, okay. Well, you're right, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. It's okay. You're the U.S. champion, mm. not A. No, so. no, no, no. I don't think this this game is representative. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What a resistance! Yeah, yeah. very resistant, very incredible, yeah. very resourceful. Mm. Now, what should I do? It's a good question, actually. Have to do something. Well, you know, you could always play F takes G too. <laughs> not sure about always, actually. <laughs> oh no! Almost on time. I almost lost. Oh, that was a that was a finger slip. Yeah. Mm. No time left. No time. Okay. So far I'm doing okay, but I don't see really how to do some strong moves, unfortunately. Yes, the, the queen check and return is not too impressive. But why not? Oh, you're playing an increment. Oh, I thought you were just totally lost. That's a problem. The Ooh. See, this is where he gets to be nasty. Acts like a gentleman. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Wow has been called. Why did I do that? Oh, God, what am I doing? I don't even know. All right. I, think you are doing okay. I guess okay. it's okay. It's okay. Is this is deadly. It's fine. Mm. But... This is deadly. Very well played, Irina. Oh, Very well. Well. 
I didn't expect that. So, I don't know so what I think you're doing. I think you're doing. Calculating this position, I think it's just wonderful. What magnificent calculation. Oh, this is, yeah. There you go, you see? Yeah, I got the amazing. Uh, I thought that was a deep. Bishop. Deep thinking on your part. Yeah, great. Keep moving, Irina. Yeah, let's put that pawn on a dark square, on a light square before I give it away. Yes. All right. <laughs> I think I can manage this. I think I think I can do this little walk with the king. Absolutely. He's gaining time. Okay. I resign. Yes. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see that, Alexi. <laughs> oh, that's great. Listen, it, it was <laughs> it was very interesting game. I think I after Queen G7, I had advantage, but uh, you played really well at the end. I don't know. I that was... Oh, you play second game? Oh, I don't know. I, uh, okay, you want your revenge. Okay, let's see if I can. Irina, have... you can always go. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jim, you can uh, try to play too. Why not you enter the uh, master challenge? Oh, no. <laughs> I know when I'm outclassed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Sasha, you're afraid to play knight c6 after our game, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. No, 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 She's wait. back. Yes. Uh, yes. I... Well, it was the queen b six that got him in trouble. I think. Ooh. Okay, so this is something new. <laughs> For me, that's for sure. Well, look, uh, guys, there was Queen B3 already uh, threatened, you know, like Morphe. So, uh, yes. So I had to defend against that typical move. I'll go for two bishops. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So, what makes sense here? G6 or E6? Well, which one would you play, Alexi? Well, I, I always liked Fianchetto. So. Yeah, I was also thinking G6. Okay. Yeah. You know what I was thinking was E5. No, if I would be premature, I think. Okay. Oh. What what could go wrong with the Inkato Wing? Alexi, when actually, you actually white is trying to equalize for <laughs> what I understand. Drawing very hard. Oh, now you want the Tarash game. You're just trying to play yeah. like Tarash. Hmm. And Lexi, what, one of the things that I learned, Kasparov would play the King's Indian, I, I, and he would always be able to sacrifice a pawn at a time to free his position. And I could never do that. I could never, when I would play it, I would always want to free my bishop on the dark squares, but I never knew the timing. I never had the timing. and. Did you have that same kind of impression what, playing over his games, or were you already? Well, that's I don't think he's the only player that sacrificed his pawns. Yeah. I mean, yes, uh, we can take Michael Tal for example is another example. And but in the King's and, Indian, I and you know, in Latvia, we always had this expression that we don't play pawns, we play chess. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I heard that uh, expression from uh, Anatoly Karpov. When he was in Toronto and he was, he was giving Samuel display, and uh, my game was the last one to end, and I had an extra pawn, but it was drawish position. So he offered me a draw, and I said, Well, I have an extra pawn. And he said, We play chess, not pawns. <laughs> <laughs> now, what should I do in this position? Maybe. You see, in America, we were we were taught like the Larry Evans Yasu Sarawan approach of take the pawn, hang on to the pawn. <laughs> and, well, Victor Korshnov liked to take pawns. Ah, in many of his games, he demonstrated that sometimes the initiative for sacrificed pawn was kind of an illusion, illusion from his opponents. Yes, yes. but that's right. where the artist comes in when you know its initiative is worth it or not. And yeah. that is an intuition-based rather than calculation-based, it seems to me. That's true, yeah. Alexei, but you had a lot of sacrifices in your games that Fire were not probably calculated until the very end, right? Mm. 
not sure I would calculate every sacrifice I made. I think uh, actually I, um, I think mostly if I sacrifice material, it's uh, based on some strategical grounds. Of course, then you need to calculate some variations as well. Yeah. But I think oh, first, yeah. yeah, but first okay, you have to understand. Uh, what are you sacrificing for? I mean, what are you going to get in return? And normally, you, you, you still first uh, look at this with general terms, but and then, yeah, and then see concrete lines. Well, unless, of course, it's three or four uh, moves for line, but uh, I think we are not really talking about that. We're talking about, yeah, more positional okay. sacrifice. <laughs> and this is the way I would have played it. I don't know if that's good or bad, but Rook I... seven. I, I commend, commend you on just the series of exchanges on d5 and then the rook c7. Mm. I thought that was your best chance. I'm sorry to say, I think it's a Potter's plan. Ah. I was happy to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I know nothing. That. Oh, you guys are picking on me. Well, it's not losing right away. That's. That's damning with faint praise. <laughs> An open file. Is it worth? Isolation is not good for me. And uh, okay. that is a song by Pawn on D4. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I could take that pawn. It's a little. Oh, it's a could little you? Too bad to take. I that thought pawn. he was tempting you to do that. But you can. I have a lot of tempting moves, but I mean, it is a free pawn. All right, let's and try. You it. Like yeah. No, no, I, I know that you'll take it. It's great temptation yes. to take it. It's, a, yes. it's impossible not to take. To tell the truth. Now, uh, there are two ways of playing this. Oh, yes, Probably, I don't know which one to do either. I'm picking them both. In the opinion of Grandmaster Sheriff, Black has blown up. Black has blown up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is nothing but mathematics. The basic maths. Yeah. <laughs> He's counting pawns. Uh, yeah, you know what? he's right. I think he's right. <laughs> oh, can you do that? Yes, I think you can. Okay. I mean, it doesn't want you to have the slightest bit of hope. Yeah, that's not. I'm not in the business of giving my opponents hope. Except, there well, you go. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't that business. like a that champion. <laughs> but, not, but not. Hopefully, not in this game. So I have this interesting move. Play a good move instead. A good move? <laughs> a good move instead of an interesting one. This interesting one's not bad, but all right, okay. let's let's just play a good move. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, this is the kind of guy you're up against. He's resourceful. He's resourceful. <laughs> you know, the square is kind of nice. I kept uh, going in this direction with my queen. Why? Yes, Why yes like you like it. it. Yes. Well, what? still it takes the center, even from the side of the board. So I always think, you know, people criticize queen moves and they're to the flank, but they still control the center. Not anymore. Not this one. Not your queen. Oh, this is so passive. I'm so embarrassed for you. Mm. Yeah. What was better move? No, I guess you must. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. There's not a lot of time. Okay. Um, oh. I lost some time. Thank you, time. Oh, wow. Safa, you're putting up a good a good, a good, good game. Yes. No, you're no, no. Yes, that's well, not Maybe you should not, not have traded on C5. I think, it's yeah. It's terrible. Think... No, it's very competitive. Are you kidding? Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to play a really good game. Safa, you didn't tell me you were going to be my only opponent today. <laughs> I didn't know that myself. I, I put, I put um, a small... But you see, but you know what? Around, you know what? But... Around 2 o'clock, my internet was gone. Yes. And oh, I was okay. struggling without internet for quite a while. That's yes. why I couldn't do the proper announcement or anything like this. But listen, what can but I do? I really, I really wanted him to get his internet back because I didn't want to be stuck playing you. <laughs> but you can still join. You can you can uh, go and uh, enter the master challenge. I have okay. found my my role is best as a kibitzer. I I much I'm much better at criticizing other players' moves than making them my own. 
But you can play and criticize your own move. What's the difference? <laughs> I can do that. Can you do that? I can. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange position. How to play it? Okay. Well, I have you, know my, you know my specialty, knight e8. In any position, yes, I, I know. know. Knight I know. E8. You use that to, to uh, against me with mean intent. If Alexi wouldn't kill me in 10 moves, at some point I would play knight e8. I just didn't have a chance. Yes. But you still had your king on e8, I think, when our game finished. Uh, yes, that's right. That's why I couldn't play knight e8, because of the king. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to play enterprising game from now on. Yes. When you play too slow. In my game with Sasha, he fianchetto his knight. He went to e8 to get it to g7. I thought that was interesting. It was a secret until it falls <laughs> Now, this is also, is there's a, cry, a weakness in this position crying out to me on E6. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I, oh, my God. I just noticed that. Oh, my God. I, I like my position quite a bit. But now I don't like it anymore because of Well, I, not, all, not all is lost. Yes, because you have that good resource. Obviously, you anticipated this because you moved your knight to e8 in order to move it to c7. That's right. Yes. Oh, so knight e6 is no longer a threat, at least not immediate threat. So maybe black has not such a bad game. I mean, I can hold on for five, six moves easily. Yeah, this actually looks at least not completely. It's playable. I mean, let's put it this way. Yes, I think it is playable. I'm trying to calculate, but I'm not good at calculations anymore. And I have extra minute time advantage. Oh. That's probably I equal mean, to... You're, you're taking too long to think. You have to just play. It's a very complicated your... position. She has to think. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Well, you know, if you play bishop takes bishop, he might play knight takes bishop, and then... I'm yes. Just... <laughs> not, not in this game, though. <laughs> yes, this is called prayer chess. I pray my opponent makes a move like that. Oh! So, he goes for it. Mm. Yeah. What's the threat? Very interesting. What's the threat here? The threat is to defend my bishop. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, you see, I can't yes, do it. It's okay, uh, I'll play this. Now I invite you, please play knight p6. This might be a tactical thing. I need right. Alexei to tell me what's going well, on. Yeah, this is interesting. I actually. don't understand, yeah, why did you want her to play knight e6? Yeah, I mean, I actually hmm. think it's not bad for me. <laughs> the h6 pawn is hanging, so... Just, just, so, keep moving. just uh, what was the threat, but the point was that the h6 pawn would be hanging. So, <laughs> no. Yeah, that's true. It is okay. true. Mm. Don't look for the best move. Look yeah, for the yeah, yeah, knight c4, queen g5. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we can live with that, right? Well, I have to play it anyway, regardless whether it's good or not so good, but I'll play it. Oof. I may pay the price for doing all that stuff. Am I still alive? I, okay. I think you are, but it's kind of a question. Definitely alive. But not so well. <laughs> well... I would play that, yes. And what's the threat? On e7. Oh my god. Oh. My wonderful pawn on e7 is weak. So what do I do? I have to play this. Yes, but then she can just laugh at you. Now what? What 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 is there? Let's, 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 let's can go back. What can she do? Oh very consistent. Very interesting too. A very clever. While well, thinking about knight e4, I think it was also winning. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. I had this idea of this queen repositioning to C3. I don't know why. Yes. I, I liked it. I, you know, and it was not, it's not an easy move. Oh, wow. For me to I have no time. Oh, this is bad. Let's make some trades. The trade is a trade, of course. Let's go for an attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? You're playing chess. Bad, bad chess. It's cheese. Don't be so hard on yourself. This is easily defended. Not so easily defended. I'm so trying to get this bloody pawn on e6. Incredible efforts going into it. Now what should I do? Now what do you do? This you know it. what I'll do? I'll do this. I wouldn't know. Ay, 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 ay. Poor king. You That's could still play d3, but uh, yeah. in the middle of this, oh. no? I would have gone to h4, no? Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's getting yes. funny. Done. Thank Done. you. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Done. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was entertaining. So what, what about Jim? You, you would like to play? I criticize and critique. Oh. I don't. Hey. So I'm gonna lose one more game. No, that's not it's not gonna happen. Let's not I will uh, play Sicilian with reverse. That's let's let Alexi play uh Irina. Oh sure. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you can you can sit back and criticize. That's <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and whom I'm going to criticize, just tell me. Oh, not Arena. No. no so I'll criticize Alexi who beat oh, me. Yes, I'm going to criticize every move Alexi made. <laughs> <laughs> I had this position in a blitz game recently, actually. This exact. Oh. Yeah. I should be excited if you play so I, do, I do remember it. Um, it's pretty normal. I mean, white is not being aggressive, but. Yeah. Perfectly playable, it seems. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do some. That's yeah. what I'm this stuff. is also that game. Yeah, That's it's really that funny. Uh, That's not necessarily good. I had the, the way I played was this move. I mean, it was it was like there was some concept here. Yeah, so I lost the tempo and then I played into this. Well, this is not that impressive to me from Black's point of view. It's uh, you're getting into a Grunfeld formation, and it's, it's playable, it's playable. It's playable. Sure. Now, see, I play C5. Laugh at okay, you. Let me do a couple of lousy moves. Yeah, side play C5, of course. Ah. True. This what exactly am I doing? Uh, hopefully this works out okay. Yes. Well, it's aggressive, and, and, and it does put the, the question to white. Exactly. Uh, well, this way I'm okay. This is yeah. not what I was afraid of. But after b5, b takes to 5 and knight yeah. to 4. Yeah, and knight to uh -huh. 4, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was nice, longer yeah. there. I mean, white would have to like, change some compensation, but I thought maybe it wouldn't be enough. No, but maybe it would be enough, actually. Uh, knight takes e4. Ah, no, but after knight takes e4, you can take d takes e4. Okay, then, then white can see. I also thought about knight d7. Yeah. Mm. There. Um, okay. Yeah. So, knight, d4, knight d4 actually wins the whole rook, or at least uh, the whole bishop. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, white would still have some compensation because of. C5 and B5 pawns, but uh, that probably would not be enough. This is a problem, Sasha. Yeah, a huge problem, unbelievable problem. It's a problem of a problems. <laughs> Fighting for for my for survival. You see, it didn't work out. My idea with rook before was to bring rook to H4 and start the mating attack, but 
It's not well, going to happen in this game. Again. Yes. It, it, it's going to happen in next game, but not in this one. <laughs> he tends to be a nice guy, but very aggressive. This is the chess player at heart. Be nice before and after the game. I was thinking about if grandmasters should resign in this position for white. And you know, I came to the conclusion that there is no answer to it because grandmasters will never have this position with a white. <laughs> <laughs> Irina, but you must the be master able. small that you can't save the game by resigning. <laughs> that's 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 how I always say. It. Okay, this is not the best move, but it's kind of interesting. Let's play. It's... It is not the best. Thank you, Irina. I, I, I don't think kept... so. I don't think so. But yeah. you know, it's fun to open it's up the game. Aggressive. And yeah. uh... it's interesting. Okay. Am I losing right away after this? No. Not right away. Okay. No, she just said, I'll give you this pawn back so that I can have a dominating position. But. It's me. Trying to survive. Sasha is. He's tough. He's tough. Cookie. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now we have to do something, but I don't know what. What should I do here? There are no moves. I don't know what to do. No help to you. Yeah, it's a really tough situation for sure. Why not though? That's not bad. That's not good, I would say. Yeah. It's not good? Mm. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, problems, problems, problems. But really, it's a problem. Yes, it's a problem. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Still resisting. Trying Super. to survive for a few more moves. Oh, yes. Well, Yep. Why not D1? Uh oh. After oh, you can D1, I think, uh, like yeah, it's good that you didn't have that move. I would have been in trouble. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so maybe no, Alex can play a couple of games with me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I do? I think. Uh, okay, I'm now on chess stars, and on chess stars, I'm going to play this GM oh, next. I don't know if... Uh... Okay, I aborted my game. So, um, uh, Irina, you know what? Stop Master Challenge and play uh, and challenge Alexei. How do I do that? Um... Uh, you can stop... Uh... Oh, it's me again. Okay, I will abort. Support the game, let them play. Yeah. Um, so what are we, we going to players, maybe? Yeah, go to players, select uh, Alexei. With, uh... <laughs> Who, what is his name online? No, online oh. I'm GM Alexis. Because he was here on the stream. I entered with my Google account. I, it, okay. He gave me an option of Google or Facebook account. And okay. So if I go to game, yeah. wait, this is uh. Well, you 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 can go to to uh, chat. Chat. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm in chat. Okay. How do, how do well, I? How do I end this? How do I end this? I go to events and then I go to end? Uh, yes, go to end. Where is the end? This thing? Doesn't let okay. me. Okay. Uh, council. Well, you do your council. Uh, events. Where is cancel? Chat here. Okay, hold on. You go to lunch, a uh, lunch master challenge. Uh, you say, Is there a council? Submit and council, right? I don't at the, see at, at the bottom. It just hmm. starts. It. I don't, I don't know. Um, Doo -doo -doo. Okay. 
I see, I see there is a submit at the very end, at, at the bottom. There is a button submit and there is a button to cancel. You see that? Well, I'm, you, you're seeing my screen, right? So you just tell me where to go. No, I don't see your screen. I see my screen. I see your screen, but I don't know where to tell you to go. Like when I press launch, it just takes me into this. And so I'm back here. About oh. Maybe players, if I go... Uh, yeah. And what is and this? Where am we okay, you can go to players and yes, get uh, Alexis player. there. But uh, I, don't, I don't see myself in this list for some reason. I don't either. I don't know why, because I think I am I am online. I mean, have you logged oh, in? Really? Have you logged into Chess Stars? Maybe not. Here. Okay. What's your name here, Alexei? Oh, it's GM Alexei Shirov, as you suggested. Yeah, I, and I don't see. Maybe you didn't uh, enter mm -hmm. yet. Okay. Yeah, I will see. Maybe I should. Ah, maybe I should enter play. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Live chess. Live chess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, now I think. Uh, okay, I think now I see you. So you challenge yes. now Irina. She's on the very top. Mm, but where do I see the list? Uh, okay, go to the very top. I'm, I think I'm first and she's second. Irina, you can okay. challenge him. Okay, so play and uh, with which time control will play? In... Let's do 3 2. 3 2. Ah, okay. In, like an increment. Right, okay. So. Play odds challenge. What is this? Ah, oh, no, it uh, says uh, three and okay. So, no, uh, and that's okay. And uh, ah, just challenge, yeah, okay. yeah, challenge, okay. But um, I don't see it yet, I don't see it either, huh? Okay, just a moment. Oh, Irina, Irina, you can challenge Alexia as well. I didn't find him. <laughs> I, I oh, he's, he uh, if you go to players, he's the very last one, GM Alexis Shirov. Ah, but uh, it says that I cannot challenge because uh, she's hosting Master Challenge. So oh, have... I see. So how to terminate Master Challenge? That's a good can question. You challenge him, Irina? Um, top? I don't even see him here on my list. Well, I just yeah. uh, oh, 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 because you're here. Wait, yeah. I think we can do it. We can play. So you can put three plus two, yeah, instead of five plus zero. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. right? We we got it right. Everything is good. Okay. Did that oh, work? Yeah, yeah it should work, but now I have to ah. Hmm, I don't see. Alexi, you know what you can do? You can actually enter Master Challenge with Irina. It shows that Master Challenge with Irina Krush is... I know, but how is this in the room? Accept. Okay, okay. Now, yeah, I think... Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine it. Okay, no, let's no. do it. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to learn how to play against Sicilia. D4. Wow. What's wrong with D4? Oh, D4. Oh. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. She's making a thing. Don't really know this move so much. Neither do I. Mm -hmm. That's that's a problem with this move. Why that has no idea what to play against Bishop D7. Not that Bishop D7 wins right away. But, uh, no, of course not. No, but uh, no. especially in Butts, you want to play moves that your opponent does not expect. Yeah. Okay. As long as there's sound. Yikes. Oh, what to do now? I would play bishop c6. Yeah, that's... That's, uh, that's probably the, that's the only move. No? No, no it's no. not the only move. She found another. Well, bishop c6, uh, yeah, was what I expected. But okay. As I said, I don't really know this, all these positions. So. I think there is some way which uh, you seem to be finding. Recently, he found actually some some way to get White's advantage, but okay, it's... White is pinning 
Black Knights. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. Of course. <laughs> this is, yeah, this why this move is possible because the knight is pinned. But is it such a good move? It surprises me. I see the follow up. Mm. So Black must play rook c8, right? I or think I saw some okay. similar game uh, between strong players, but it could be just similar, but not exactly the same. Yeah, I think you're thinking a game between uh, Carlson and Vache. Vache was white, right? It's like no, some no, uh, no, no, some other game. I think it was. Oh. Yeah. I think from last World Cup between Vitugov and you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Something yeah, that's like another one. Mm. Right. I remember there were some similar motives, but uh, I'm not. I'm coming around to Rook C8, of course, but I can't see anything else. That's just me. Yeah, you can't move Queen because Knight on F6 isn't protected. And uh, he could take, take take twice on F6. Yeah, exactly. That, that does not look good. What other candidate moves besides Rook C8? I was trying to find one, and I'm running out of uh, ideas. Queen C7 is certainly playable. She's going to let him take twice on F6. Hmm. OK. We'll not calculate much. So our Try. ladies champion has decided to allow the serious penetration of the white queen. And she thinks that now she can't castle anywhere, but she thinks she can hold this position in the center. Maybe. Do I think so? I don't know. Well, if I she was... Could, she could hold this position against me. Yes. What yeah. about Alexi? No, well, the position is still unclear, so it's... Uh... Maybe I could do better before, maybe not. Hard to tell. I wanted to play Queen H6 for a while, I will admit. But but then yes. I saw the reputation. Okay, is it crazy to play this way? I'm going to try it. Don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I thought you were going to follow up with that. Now this... This makes me... I'm very concerned now for Black. Are Quite you? Some... Yes. Why? Because of you play... You cannot play... Okay, I was going to say you cannot play one thing. And the queen takes allows this. Yeah. I didn't think H7 okay. was so important, but maybe... You're okay with this, okay? I don't know. I don't know if I'm okay, because actually rook d7 is a little annoying. It's very annoying. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have not let that. Lena, watch your time. Yes, I see that. I'm also interested in not, not getting mated. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's another problem. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. I shouldn't have done that. Rook e8. Well, it was against my better judgment. Yeah. But you, but... you were listening to me. Do that. Mm, okay. Yeah. You, can hold this. you can hold this. I Maybe. think. Maybe. <laughs> Highly unlikely. I think not for long, but it doesn't have to be for long. Well, it's not. It's maybe not completely terrible, but. No, no. You have resources here. He has resources. That's right. I'm not talking about financial resources. I'm talking about uh, chess resources. Irina, you're going to have to drink your golden milk. Wouldn't hurt, actually. Yes. No, but still, still, Lexi has to find uh, somehow how to finish this off. No, I think it's still quite a way before finish. So I will. Yes, this this was a prudent move, it seems to me. Mm. 
No. What resistance? Yes. Incredible resistance. These moves are very forcing. But Arena's been able oh, to. I, yeah, I should have just played King G8. I forgot my queen is defending my rook. Mm. Ugh, King G8. Yeah. Been... yeah, it would have been. Yeah. What I mean, my, 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 more what I wanted, you know? But yeah, okay. It is what it is. No, but you, you're doing good, Irene. You have a strong pawn center. Thank you, thank you, Seth. Thank you. Mm. Ah. That's okay, it's okay. He's grandmasters. Oh, he saw it. Attack and defend. The way I was taught. Interesting. So Black makes one move. Oops. Oh, Oops. Oops has been called. Okay. You know what mm -hmm. I was thinking? I was thinking of something even potentially stronger. Look at Irina. Look at what she's doing. Knight takes a point. Yes, this is what I thought was stronger, even, but maybe. Mm. Mm. What a killer. Yeah, that killed my hopes. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, too bad you lost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was curious how Irina really couldn't resist this when I thought I was completely winning and I really got too relaxed and. Then suddenly I had to work and I was not in the mood to work anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then it became very difficult for me. The position became much less clear. So, Alexi, yeah. your work was deadly. Okay. So, well, let's see. try again. Let's try again. It's fun. Irina, you made him work. This is something to be proud of. Okay. okay. Let's take now my uh, slap. Yeah. Uh, slap. Yes. Great. Play into my specialty, Alexi. This is, this is what I like. It's a London uh -huh. system now. It's a London system, Slav, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I so played this. Old Moldavia school. And you know, Odessa is almost Moldavia, so. I always do this too. This is interesting to me. Oh. Yes. Very interesting. She's a tough cookie. Mm -hmm. He's not so bad himself. Oh, I don't yeah, know. What's the problem? She you know, know. The idea was night B1 here, which uh, has a little flaw. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, okay, no, rook c1, king d2, we cannot play like that. All right. Not, not against oh, Alexi. This, this was not my plan at all. <laughs> okay. Knight b5 is going to get trapped. Yeah. Oh sad. This is sad. Should have played well, it. It is. It's okay. It's okay. We can get out of this. But, but listen, what has reasonable positions? There's nothing to, yes, do, yes. to fear. Well, yeah, that's because why play CD5? They're always going to have a reasonable position for 10 moves, you know? <laughs> <laughs> your only trouble in this game is that you're playing Alexis Shirov. Other than yes, that, sure. your position is just fine. Your position yeah. would be fine against me. Yes, that's right. I'll just... You're making him work. Okay. Okay, back to a normal a game. Bishop. He gave himself a voluntarily bad bishop. Don't worry about your, your knight on g1. His knight on a5 is not great either. Yeah, 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 I agree. Ooh, he's not threatening to take your bishop, I don't think. No. Always in this position, I always ask myself, what Capablanca would play in this position for black? Well, that's never a bad question to ask, is it? 
or Michael Tao. Oh, I've never ridden to a place so badly as I did before to reach the position. <laughs> so, so let's start with this. <laughs> yeah. What would Cheryl okay. play in a position like this? Absolutely right. That's what I thought the best move in this position. That's great. <coughs> but so, you get, so in contest, you would now be the winner, right? Yeah, I would put five crowns and grab complete five crowns. Of, of, <laughs> say five, six thousand crowns. I don't care. All would come to me. But Sasha, the downside of this move is it takes the E8 square away from your knight. Yeah, that's that's the problem with this move. That's why I would hesitate to do it. Yeah, such a confused. I think he wanted to play knight here, but okay, knight it. Correct, I have to say. Oh, that's a, before, that's it's almost like uh, myself. Yes. She has a good picture. Uh, it's like a Shabalov shield of attack in the mirror. <laughs> yeah? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, I could always win Shabalov's positions, but I could never get them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a good career. So essentially, black has to be very careful because uh, white can uh, build up uh, a really good attack. Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid of knight b6 and like f6 trying to trap that knight if I play f3. True, yeah. Uh, yeah, but now now he cannot play knight e8. <laughs> yeah, I, my, my whole dream has been to improve this knight, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so now both knights were improved. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Everybody's into the action now. Interesting. Because I would say my oh, thinking would be I like my dark squared bishop versus white's dark squared bishop. Why would I trade them? And Alexi is showing me why. Mm. Back back to G1 is night or so what to do? Back to G1? <laughs> never. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's never gonna happen not in this game that's for sure this knight is going to e5 that's yeah like somebody suggested the move e5 yeah yeah, I yeah, think yeah it yeah. works do. it does not work See now I'm getting oh. I'm getting scared. Irina, you're I'm getting scared. scared. I, I think I missed this idea completely. Wow. Alex say my knight is going where where my knight was going. On F2, that's where it belongs. Yes, that's why you played knight to G1 to relocate it to F2 to create yes. the threat. This is quick enough though. It's a redirection of the knight to the king side, which is greatly needed. But is she going to make life miserable for you? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm very perplexed. You have to kill this knight on e4. It's just you. You can't hold on to this knight. But then his 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 rooks can penetrate them. Hmm. Yeah, but maybe she'll checkmate. That bishop on d3 is protecting c2. Mm -hmm. He's running away. Discretion is always the better part of that. Really? Ah. It's provocative. He's provoking. He's going to go back to e8 because he likes the bishop on e8. Mm. It's tricky. I don't know. It is do. tricky. He's yeah. talking to you, though. Yeah, he, wants, yeah. okay. he wants to get control of the square. I need to move something. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is wow. it? Wow. 
I, uh, the crowd showers the board with gold pieces. Oh. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Wonderful. Irina, you're almost there. Where? Where am I? I don't know. I don't almost know. there. <laughs> Mm. Well, faster, faster. Oh, okay, don't hear me, don't hear me, Safa. Dumping ponds, I, I think that black <laughs> might have a pond advantage. Oh, rook eight three. Hold on. Uh, okay, but all right. Is that good? No. Yeah. No, but but it but it holds for another few moves. Uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was your plan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh my god. Yeah. That kills. Oh. That's strong. Yeah, that, is. that was interesting. Mm. Oh, he's got the major oh, threads. Incredible yeah. game. Really well oh, done. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Really when fantastic. I played bishop b4, I realized that I also had an idea to play bishop b5. Uh -huh. so bishop takes and rook c2. So when I played bishop b4, I thought if you play b3, then I would play it. But, bishop uh, b5, yeah. I don't yeah, know, I, I couldn't point. find like a way. To but the point like is that uh, when you play g5, of course, I thought your idea is to play rook g3 and rook h3 to trap oh, yeah. my queen. Yeah. And I, I completely missed it. And of course, I spent all my time just to try to find at least something against that. So after rook g3, my plan was to play e5, sacrifice the pawn, and then go knight e4. But probably I'm clearly worse, but okay. It's a right. But then, yeah. Okay, I have to admit that... Uh, it was a good training for me before tomorrow's uh, small blitz tournament that I will play in. Uh -huh. Well, Bishop A4 is really, it's a memorable move. It's it's quite incredible. Uh, you, you're saying I should not go Knight G4, yeah? I should just go... Mm. Rook G3, well, that's what I thought, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but Rook C1. Rook C1, trade, trade, but King G2? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, King, and Rook H3 is a threat. Well, actually, I didn't want to play rook c1. I wanted to play e5 and then see what happens, basically. So mm -hmm. probably he takes e5 and something like knight e4. Knight e4, thought, yeah. Yeah, but you can probably take with a knight. Uh, yeah. Okay, I didn't really have time to calculate anymore. So I thought maybe I just play bishop c6, trade uh, bishop. Yeah, I somewhere. definitely should have done that. I don't know. Knight g4 was pretty dumb, actually. Mm. Well, it wasn't dumb. It had threats, but it it was not as good as rook yeah, rook g three, of course. Yeah, should have gone for the yeah. queen. Actually, I was looking at rook g four, but I saw you had queen h five, so I couldn't uh, really do anything there. Um, Actually, now when I'm uh, yes, when yes. I come down, then I think I see that after rook g three, I also have an, an idea to play bishop b five. Bishop takes b five, rook c two, and and then mm. take. Uh, B5, maybe I'm not worse there, but okay. But this I did not see during the game. Wow, what a rich position. I mean, I mean it's just incredible what the resources Black has yeah. and why. But, but of course, I just thought I am uh, better strategically. I thought uh, Irene would play rook g3 instead of g5. I would just go back with my queen to d8 or e7. And I thought, okay, I have my c file, I'm just fine. And then Why don't I take your bishop though? Take your bishop, you take back, and then I play rook h3. Uh, no, I play rook c2. Ah, I see. Rook c2, and okay, of course, white has several options, but uh, yes, yes, looks I see. like I'm not losing the game immediately, yeah. and then okay. Right. But, uh, it looks like queen f3, knight takes b5, and maybe some rook f1, and looks like I might lose my queen in the end. Yeah, but you will get compensation for sure. Mm, not so sure. 
No, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This would have been. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I should have gone for uh, for the queen. Yeah. But, well, anyway, my idea was not g5. I wanted to play e5. Let's check it because at least uh, after e5, I'm not losing the queen. I, right. I defend the uh, h3 square. So that's that was that my looks, idea. That looks worse for black to me. And so yeah. here probably this, right? Yeah, I, I wanted to play knight e4 and see what uh, what's going on. So yes, it I didn't see. calculate much more, but I thought maybe it would work. Yeah. Maybe because bishop e4 de, you just kind of have come rook c2, and it's hard to yes, yeah, yeah. White's kings is a weak, and this is a problem. But, uh, white Actually, don't take, take with uh, d pawn. I it play knight four. Uh, you can yeah. take with knights, uh, takes and bishop takes. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you take with d pawn, wait, what are, what are you saying? Uh, to take on e5 with d pawn, not with f pawn. Ah, d pawn, yeah. Uh, and yeah, okay, I still want to play knight e4, but uh, that involves already the second pawn sacrifice, so not clear if I have. And then yeah, uh, after you can take, right? yeah, so I take, you take, and now maybe I have to play bishop c6 at least to get my rook sectic, but then you right. can take my rook d1. Yeah, so I don't have rook c2. Oh no, yeah. but this is bad for me, it seems. Yeah, yeah, it looks mm -hmm. up to the <laughs> like g6 or but okay, I have two pounds down, still some compensation, but probably not sufficient. Yeah, okay, it's yeah, your queen is out of, of play. That's yes, cool. yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I mean, I felt like something was good here, but I just didn't, didn't see this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can tell you, I definitely would have played rook g3 if I would have seen the, you know, if I would have seen that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks very, uh, very good. Wow. Well, uh, listen, Arena, on uh, next Saturday, Alexi will be our guest and he will be playing Master Challenge. Oh, nice. So so if you will be available, uh, you will take your uh, Advertise it because uh, I don't want to play you the whole evening. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We will, we will definitely advertise and we'll put together all, all things. And uh, sorry, I didn't have internet until the uh, beginning of the show. I was without. Ah, internet. okay, I understand. So that yeah. that's a big problem, of course. And, uh, I and for me, okay, I apologize because I opened uh, your email only five minutes before the show, but you told me that I should join it half a year now or later. But then I just couldn't. Uh, Figure out how it worked, and then okay. So that's well, why. I, I, I still think that today everything worked, uh, say ninety percent, and uh, we are getting there to hundred percent soon. But uh, I really would like to thank all of you, especially you, Alexi and Irina, our chess queen, for joining us today. Have a great show, and looking forward to next Saturday, where Alexi will take uh, will be a, a guest of honor. And uh, we will be glad to see you, Arena, as well, and uh, show us your beautiful chess. Thank you very much to all. And uh, you, this is the end of our program today. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you, Alexei. Thank, Thank you, Jim. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you Bye, so everybody. Much. Bye. потом много.